If you are failing safety net checks and the eval type displayed right here is showing as basic, then in today's video, I'll be showing you how to successfully bypass these checks using a Magisk module named Magisk Hide Props Config. Now, some apps and services on Android require that your device get a success message when you perform what is called a safety net check. We can do this in an application called Magisk, as you can see right here. We can also download one of many safety net check applications from the Play Store and run that safety net check, again, from said application. Now this includes some of the more restrictive apps, such as those that are used for banking, but it can also be used to enforce other applications and games like Pokemon Go. And I think even the McDonald's app has some safety net check requirements built into it. Now it's up to the application or game developer to include this requirement or not. And many game devs do it in an attempt to prevent cheating in the game itself. But whatever the reason, again, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use a popular Magisk module to emulate what is called a device fingerprint. And that will allow your smartphone or tablet to successfully pass these safety net checks. Now, since this method requires us to use a Magisk module, you're going to need to have Magisk installed. So your device does need to be rooted with Magisk as well. And we're also going to be using a terminal application called Termux. Termux. But if you want, you can also just plug your phone into the PC with a USB cable and execute these commands via ADB shell. So to start off, we're gonna to need to install the Magisk Hide Props Config module. And you can do that by opening up the Magisk app application, looking down at the bottom and you should see a floating bar of icons. If we tap on the puzzle piece, that will take us to the Magisk module installer page and if you scroll down here or do a search for Magisk Hide Props Config you should see this module pop up. Now I do know that the internal repo of these modules are going to be removed in an upcoming update to Magisk. So in the future we may need to manually install this Magisk Hide Props Config module we may need to manually install it from storage. So if that happens, I'll either be doing an update video about the process, or I'll simply be linking to the download where you can find the Magisk props config file. So once this module has been installed, it is going to need to be enabled. So make sure the toggle has it marked as enabled. And then let's go ahead and restart our computer. A restart of the phone or tablet is required anytime you install a Magisk module. Since these modules need to be loaded on boot. With that done, we're gonna to need to go into the settings application. Go ahead and enable the Magisk Hide toggle. And then again, we're either going to open up a terminal, a terminal application or we are going to connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable and execute the ADB shell command so that we can be at the prompt within our device. It doesn't matter if we're executing this command on the phone or on the PC using ADB. We just need to initiate that module using the su dot or space dash c space p 
P-R-O-P-S. So again, we're either typing this SU dash C props command in a terminal app, or we are doing it in an ADB shell prompt. So once you have that typed out, we're going to press enter. Since we typed SU at the beginning, it's going to bring up a super user request. We're going to grant that. And then it's going to take us to this menu screen. So right here we are going to force basic key attestation. We're going to type 2 and go enter. And then it tells us to edit the device model to change the bootloader state check from hardware basic based to basic. So when this happens, it's going to ask us if we want to do this from a default value or if we want to pick a value from a device list, we're going to choose that option. We're going to pick yes, pick a value from device list. In this instance, that is D. And then that's going to give us a list of OEMs that we can choose from. We're going to be emulating the Pixel 3a in this. So we're going to select Google, which is 7. And then again, the Pixel 3a. So right here, that is 2.0. And then it just confirms that we want to emulate the Pixel 3a using the module props. So we do Y for yes. And then it asks us if we want to reboot. Go ahead and type Y for yes. And let your smartphone or tablet reboot. Similar to how we needed to reboot the phone after we enabled this Magisk module, the same thing happens for when we change the settings of that module. Since those settings need to be loaded on boot, we need to save the changes that we made and then reboot the phone. Once the device boots back up, again we're going to go back into the Magisk High Props Config menu using the su-c props command that we used before. This time we're going to se select the edit device fingerprint option. And we can see that it is still currently set to the LMI, even though we changed it in that other menu option that was for something else. We're going back in here, and now we're going to pick a certified fingerprint. So we're going to tap F. And again, we're going to do the same thing before. We're going to select Google from the menu. We're going to make sure we're matching the same thing we selected before. So we're going to select 2-0. And then press Enter. It should ask you which version of Android you are running select the one you are running or the latest version available. So I'll be selecting Android 11 right now. And then it just asks for a confirmation. You are about to use the following as your device's fingerprint. Are you sure? Type Y for yes. And then again, it wants to reboot so that the changes can go into effect. And with those two settings changed, when we boot back up into Android for the second time, we can open up our Magisk application to do a safety net check, or we can use one of the th many third-party applications that I mentioned it doesn't matter because the result will be the same since safety net is now being passed. So this is the process that I go through on my mini Android smartphone and tablets 
that are still using the basic attestation on safety net checks. I know some devices have moved on to hardware eval type attestation checks. But if your device is currently set to basic, then you can follow this guide to bypass these safety net checks.